with Danny Duffy on the mound. And for Danny, this is his fifth co uh, career start against the Cardinals. And he has an excellent strikeout to walk ratio against the Cardinals in his career. Colton Wong steps to the plate. Ooh, right over the outside edge. Todd Tishner rings him up. There you go. Challenge these hitters. Now, you had to throw it down the middle, and he didn't. Wong, you got to go. Two up, two down for Paul Goldschmidt. And when I played, I went a good pitch. That's a great spot there, Duffy. A change up away. Took care of those guys with no trouble. This season at four starts, Carlos Martinez is winless. And he's trying to change that tonight in game three of this series against Kansas City. Mondesi and his 20 stolen bases stands at first. Salvador Perez in the batter's box. Salvi hits it in the air to center field. It carries on Bader all the way back for a two-run home run. Wow. Talk about ambush in a first pitch fastball. Salvador Perez was sitting all over that Carlos Martinez fastball. Runs Yadier Molina. Out to center, and that's a base hit. Hit number 1,000. 997 for Yadier Molina and it's a double and with that double he is now tied with Johnny Bench on the all time list at number eight overall for catchers. Jam shot chance for two <laughs> and they got him Duffy's going good. Hunter Dozier the man who caught the ball beginning the double play leads off and he swings lifts one high in the air deep right center field that's back to the track. And off the wall, fielded by Fowler. The throw goes into second, and uh, he's trying to make third. The throw over there, he's safe. But I'll tell you, even better hustle by Dozier. Good head for a slide into third. Look at that. Nicely done. Close. Now the Royals have to turn this into a run. Cordero with four hits in 26 at bats. Ground ball off the glove of Martinez. It's going to roll into short right field, and Dozier's going to score. You talk about a discouraging start for a pitcher. Martinez got a ground ball. If he fields it cleanly, there's no way that Dozier can sprint home. So the Royals now have him on first and second base with nobody out. And Martinez in dire straits here. Now he's facing the hottest Royal in Salvador Perez, trailing 3 0. Look at this. Ooh, Deep left field, and Salvador Perez has driven in five runs in the first three innings. Man, who needs to steal, and why would you even steal when you got Salvador Perez going back to back jacks? This time he tried to change up, and you can't hit it much better than that. And Paul Goldschmidt will bat. He struck out in the first. On the ground to third, Franco throws from foul territory in time to get Goldschmidt. Wow. Look at Duffy getting some defensive plays behind him tonight is a beautiful thing. You, when you're going to the opponent's dugout and you throw off your left foot, shoot, that's a hope and a prayer, and it worked. But the wild pitch puts a runner into scoring position. So 2 0 now on Fowler. Long way to go in this one. Hit up the middle, base hit. That'll bring in Ron Hale Ravello and the Cardinals get on the board. That makes it six to one. Two two. Swing and a miss. He strikes out Dylan Carlson. So Danny gets him on a changeup. That pitch has been working pretty well for Danny tonight. Called strike three. Good changeup from Duffy. It's been working for him tonight. He strikes out his fourth. St. Louis does score a run. Scott Barlow comes out of the Royals bullpen. His job get the final out of this sixth inning. St. Louis is threatening. They have loaded the bases. They've got Brad Miller coming in to pinch hit for Ron Hell Ravello. The runners go and Miller rolls it up the first base side. Dozier's there to cut him off and tag him out. So Barlow comes in does an excellent job. The Cardinals leave the bases loaded. Second walk by Martinez. Franchi Cordero, ball wants the Yachty there, telling him, hey, get your arm up. And they might go out and look at him right now. Big time. He looks like he's something's barking here for Carlos. Yeah, he's pointing to that left side. Something definitely not right. I would assume that'd be it for him. You bring in Elledge, Absolutely. don't take any more chances, and that'll be it. All right, here is Seth Elledge facing Franchi Cordero. Cordero with a nice wrist swing, drives it into deep right center field, and that is gone. And the Royals have hit their third home run tonight. And they lead 9-1 in the sixth inning. And Mondesi is going to drive in a run. 
And he's going to dig for second and he'll make it easily on Fowler and the Royals have four in the bottom of the sixth inning and they lead 10 one Bronco will bat runners at first and second two outs. Michael Franco gaps one right center field the Royals are going to really turn it on they will hold Soler at third base Franco goes into second base with his 16th double and the Royals now have an 11 to 1 lead and they are batting around just bashing Cardinal pitching tonight. Look at this another one deep right center field again and Bader turns and Franchi Cordero has hit two home runs tonight and he has a career high five RBIs and the Royals lead 12 1 inside and Dylan takes a walk loading the bases now Harrison Bader. And that is ripped out to left center off the bat of Bader. Two runs will come in to score. And it cuts a lead to 12 to 3. Harrison Bader with a single that drives in two. And Matt Carpenter is going to pinch hit for Jake Woodford. Bader runs, and that's a called third strike. Carpenter doesn't like it, but the game is over. The series is over, and it's a huge night for Salvador Perez and Franchi Cordero.